Many of you sitting here tonight have been saved. You put on Christ. You spent your days living for God and giving Him the glory. Have you ever thought about the gifts that you continue to receive each and every day from our Father in Heaven? Oh, I'm not talking about a finding a new cell phone, a computer, a baby doll, or a new bicycle under the Christmas tree. I'm talking about the gifts you'll always have and that will last an eternity. It's the gifts you receive after putting on Jesus Christ. Some of the wonderful gifts we all received after we're baptized. We're adopted into the family of God as God's sons and daughters. Galatians 4, 5 To redeem those who are under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. We'll have an inheritance. 1 Peter 1, 34 says there will be an inheritance that will be imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. We become a child of God, John 1, 12. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. We become an heir to God, Galatians 3, 29. And if you are in Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to the promise. We become a new creature, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. We are sanctified, 1 Corinthians 6, 11. But you are washed, you are sanctified. We will possess eternal life, John 10, 28. Jesus says, I give them eternal life. We have a mansion prepared in glory. John 14, 2. Jesus said, In my Father's house there are many rooms. We are forgiven. Luke 7, 48. And Jesus says, Your sins are forgiven. We are justified. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are redeemed. Revelations 5, 9. You were slain and have redeemed us to God by his blood. What a great gift God gave each and every one of us. And we can receive this gift if we just take the time to accept it and do God's will. Just think about the ultimate gift that God has given to us. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. It's a gift that keeps giving. But in order to have this gift, you have to accept it. You have to be baptized into Christ. You have to be reborn. You have to put on Christ and live for him instead of living for yourself and your worldly ways. It's never too late to live for Jesus. It's never too late to admit that your life isn't how God intended you to live it. Please step forward and take a seat in one of the front pews and make it known to this church family that you want to live for Christ this evening. Remember, life is short. Not one of us here knows when Jesus is coming. It could be a thousand years from now. It could be next year. It could be this Friday. Or it could be during the next blink of an eye. Do you have concerns or thoughts that you need to come forward with? Do you need prayers for any reason? 
I ask you right here and now to please come forward and to speak to one of our elders as we stand up and sing the song of invitation. you in that confession of faith because with it you start the process of being a child of God, a believer, a light. It's a marvelous thing. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we come before your presence, grateful for Michael's confession of faith. We're so, so thankful that he has come to this point in his life. We're glad that he's thought about it, he's considered it, that it's an it's a decision of intelligence and of heart. Thank you for uh, his courage. And we ask you, Father, to empower him now as he makes this change in his life. And we look forward to help raise him up to the child of God that he can be in you. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. 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 <coughs> oh. I baptize, baptize thee now for the remission of your sins for the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. this 